Hi, welcome to another FSD Beta 10 video. Today is my first impression with this new software on a day drive. Here we are in downtown San Jose, about to do an ultimate stress test. As we know from other iterations of FSD while in downtown, there are some turns that this system really struggles on. However, today we're gonna find out on Beta 10 if those problems have been solved. Here we are with FSD Beta, it has now been turned on. So the car is stopping us maybe one car length before the turn or before we should have stopped. Kind of interesting, but we'll see what happens. So right here, it's really hard to actually see where we have to end up because of all these railroad tracks. Let's see what Tesla does. All right, so it seemed to have struggled there quite a bit. Um, actually on 9.2, it did that turn perfectly. Um, so I'm not sure why that one had a little bit of hiccup, but we can run it again. All right, we've added a new destination. Let's see how the system does. Turn right onto Joseph Street. Ooh, I'm gonna have to hit the brakes on that. That got, uh, it was slowing down because it saw them and it really did detect the car, but it didn't really apply the brakes as it should have. We, are t we have turned the system back on. You can't see what you think, you can only see what you know. So we're creeping forward for visibility. There's a lot of vehicles coming from our right. It is now clear. And we proceed. So on 9.2, when we took this right-hand turn, it put us in the bike lane. Let's see what it does this time. All right, didn't really smoothly get us in there, but we got here. It's clear on our left to go. Okay. Really jerky. Very jerky. At least the guy's in the lane this time. Last time I had us driving all the way over there in the parking areas. Now turn right onto West San Fernando Street. Detour side. Yeah, it's coming to almost a stop there on that turn. So now up here ahead, we have a do not enter road close sign. I'm very curious to see what happens because on 9.2, the Tesla tried to go around these signs. Let's see what happens. And it's just trying to go straight into them. That is very unfortunate. I'm gonna have to mark that. Tesla, you need to annotate these, these signs. You really do need to annotate these signs, seriously. All right, we reset up the route to go back to where the railroad crossing were, where the FSD had a little bit of a fault. Let's see how it does on round two. Whoa, I okay. We were supposed to turn right there. Tesla did a little bit of a hiccup. Now we're continuing straight, swerving a little bit. Now it wants me to go on the freeway to go back around. So I'm gonna actually cancel that so I can stay in the city. All right, we've reset ourselves. All right, we've reset ourselves. Let's see if Tesla this time can get us back to the railroad tracks and see if an actually can make that left hand turn there. This is apply steering wheel. All right, but I did. I'm holding it. All right, stopping very far back behind this line, but the light turns green. In 500 feet, turn left onto West San Carlos Street. Now turn left onto West San Carlos Street. All 
right, here we are back at the railroad tracks. Let's see how well the Tesla does on round two. Whoa, okay. Yeah, it's still really hiccups through here. Just took us into the wrong lane. I know. Um, 9.2 had that nailed down. So, not sure what, why 10 can't do that. Although, 10 is very polished. I do like it a lot better than 9.2. It brings a lot of improvements. However, I'm doing extreme stress testing here. So these are obviously very extreme cases that I'm presenting to you guys today. Go. Got us in this lane really well. Very smooth left hand turn. I actually really do like this. In 500 feet, turn left onto Lazarus Avenue. As you can see, when I don't put it through extreme stress tests, the 10 actually is a huge improvement over 9.2 in the entire 9 lineage of updates. Um, I just obviously put it through extreme cases, as you can tell from my channel. So it's creeping forward for visibility. Actually, I can't even tell if it's clear to go. Now I can, it is clear. My car does a good job of going and being safe about it. hesitation getting us in the proper lane but it got us here um it's little things that could be worked out just putting the blinker on not really sure why keeps darting the wheel to the right a bit that's a bike lane in 500 feet turn right onto south Alton boulevard now turn right onto south Alton boulevard It's not getting us in the actual far right for the turn, but it made the turn for us. All right, FSD is on and there's a van right here. Let's see what the car does. It's just slowing down, put the blinker on, and then we're, there we go around it. We've added into the destination to take us to a location that we know it has a hard time with a right hand turn with other iterations, mostly because on the right side of the road where you normally would turn, there's a railroad track. And you actually have to go on the left side of the road to actually go because it's a one way. So let's see how Beta 10 can handle this maneuver. As you can see on the map, the maneuver is right here in this little corner. So we have a little bit of ways to get there, but be prepared. which is legal here in California, by the way. Right here we have a pedestrian crossing the street, jaywalking. Let's see how the Tesla reacts. It slows down for the crossing jaywalking pedestrian. job at slowing down for this kind of erratic driver. So right here is the right hand turn. We have to go on the far left side of the road because there's railroad tracks on our right. So let's see how well the car does here. Ooh, oh, we're oh, completely on the curb. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So you've seen You've seen other videos out there. I think the guy's Hyperloop who has the Seattle monorail out there. Here in San Jose, we have the light rail. And uh, it seems to have not been fixed on 10. As you can see in his videos as well, it wasn't fixed on 10. Um, it's a very extreme stress test right there. Most people probably won't typically experience stuff like that on their day-to-day -day drives. However, this is a case that they probably need a program for here in San Jose. 
So yeah, that term is very unfortunate. Um, it's a very similar case such as the monorail in Seattle and it seems now here in San Jose they haven't been able to fix the light rail um, tracks yet either. So it's very unfortunate. However, I really do like Beta 10. It's showing a lot of promise. It's a lot better than 9.2. I find myself being a lot less stressed behind the wheel. I mean, I find myself being a, having, I see the car being a lot more confident in the way it drives. However, as you know, my channel, I specifically take it to extreme stress tests and that's why you saw what happened here today. So I'm kind of skeptical on when the public button will come out. However, it works really good in suburb areas, but in these main city areas, there's still a little bit of programming and work to do. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and join our Patreon if you wish. Thank you so much. Goodbye.